Hi, Mike here. If you're building any kind of Excel-based dashboard or interactive report, it's probably going to include pivot tables. And you're probably going to need to apply filters to those pivot tables. And that's where slicers come in useful. But at the same time, you're probably going to want to protect the dashboard sheet to prevent accidental or deliberate changes. The problem is that when worksheet protection is enabled, the slicer buttons don't work. In this video, I'll show you how to fix the problem. I'm using a Mac, but if you're using Excel on Windows, it's 99% the same. There's just a couple of slight visual differences. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. So here's my dashboard. As dashboards go, it's a little bit basic, but it'll do for the demo. It's got three pivot tables and a slicer. I've already hooked the slicer up to three pivot tables. And the data, by the way, is on a separate sheet. To show you how the slicer works, I will click on a department, HR in this case, and what it's done is it's applied a filter to all three pivot tables, which in turn then displays the updated data in those two text boxes, which are acting as cards or tiles. So I'll just clear that filter and you can see everything updates again. But I need to protect the dashboard sheet. I want to make sure that the users of the dashboard don't accidentally break anything. So if I click on the review tab and then click on protect sheet and click OK, this protects the entire worksheet, including the slicer, which means that the slicer buttons no longer work. So I'll unprotect the sheet, review, unprotect sheet. To fix this, what I need to do is before applying worksheet protection, I need to right click on the slicer, go to size and properties, and open up the properties section down here at the bottom. And I need to untick the locked option and then close the format slicer panel. This means that when sheet protection is on, the slicer will not be locked. So if I then apply sheet protection, go back to review protect sheet, but I need to tick use pivot table and chart. If you don't do that, when you click a button on the slicer, you get a message that says the pivot table can't be changed as it's protected. By the way, ticking edit objects makes the buttons on a slicer clickable on a protected sheet, so I could have done that. But it also allows users to edit any charts, shapes, text boxes, and other controls that are on that sheet. So my advice is to do it the way that I'm showing you here. Leave edit objects unchecked and use the locked option on the slicer properties box. So I'll just click OK. And now if I click a button on the slicer, everything works. So the sheet is protected. The slicer can be used. It looks like we're done, but we're not. As it stands, the slicer can be moved around or even deleted. Now you probably don't want your carefully crafted dashboard design to be changed. So I'm going to right click on the slicer, go to size and properties, open up the position and layout section and tick disable resizing and moving. If I close the format panel, and then try and move the slicer, it's not going to let me. If I try and resize the slicer, I can't. The resizing handles have disappeared. So that's how to stop the slicer being moved or resized. Notice, by the way, I was able to do that without turning off sheet protection. That's because I turned off lock the slicer. So now the slicer works and can't be moved or resized. But unfortunately, it can still be deleted. If I click on the slicer and press the delete key, it's gone. It is possible, I believe, to stop users deleting the slicer, but to do it, you need to get heavily into interface editing. 
And what I mean by that is editing the right click menu on the slicer to remove the cut and remove options. So at that point, I would say we're done. We've taken this as far as we can. Well, I hope you found the video useful. And if you did, please give it a like. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day. Thank <laughs> you.